Recently, I made a video about how I shower or bathe, basically stay clean, living out of my little camper van here. And there were some questions and comments that got me to realize that, yeah, I messed up. There were a few things I should have talked about and a few things I should have conveyed in that first video. So one of those things is how I wash my hair. There's also a few other things that probably should have mentioned. So I have two ways of keeping my hair clean and washing it. Now on a daily basis, I'm gonna keep my hair clean just the same as I do the rest of me. I'm gonna take this little pan, I'm gonna fill it up full of water, I'm gonna heat it up on my stove, and then I'm gonna add a few drops and just a few drops of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. I take that warm water and that mild soap solution and I scrub myself down. Uh, I do the same with my hair. I scrub my hair down uh, same as the rest of me as I'm getting ready in the morning every morning. So what I've found over the years is scrubbing my hair down that way every morning keeps my hair fresh. Now believe it or not, I find that it's best that I don't wash my hair every day. This is a big change from before van life. Before van life, I took two showers a day and I wash my hair twice a day. Now when I really need to wash my hair, really wash it clean, that's why I have this oversized sink. This sink is just big enough and the faucet is just high enough that I can get my head in under it to be able to wash my hair out. I actually went around to several restaurant supply stores and in the store I stuck my head in the sink under the faucet until I found a sink that was just big enough that I could do that, uh, but small enough that I'd be able to fit it here in my little van. Now what I failed to mention in the previous video is that even though on a daily basis I use some of this Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, this soap makes for a terrible shampoo. I don't recommend it. Uh, it will kind of dry out your hair and make it really frizzy, uh, which is a problem I already have being that I've got kind of curly hair anyway. So um, don't recommend that you use Castile soap as a shampoo. Uh, if you do want to try it, and I'm saying that you shouldn't, uh, the company, Dr. Browner's company on their website, they, they have a recommendation of using some apple cider vinegar cut with water and uh, I've never tried it. I've never actually looked at the recipe that they give online. To me, it just seems like too much of a faff to try to do all that. So um, I used to use a, a shampoo, a regular shampoo. I kind of got tired of buying something that was in a plastic bottle. Also, the shampoo that I was using was rather expensive and it was really hard to find. So instead, uh, earlier in the year, I switched to just using a uh, bar soap. This happens to be another Dr. Bronner's product. You would think that I am uh, <laughs> somehow working for Dr. Bronner's. I'm not. Um, I just, I, I like their products and I think that they work well. Um, this bar soap happens to work really well and it doesn't come in a plastic package. That may not be important to you. It's a little bit important to me. Okay, so that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, this is something that I've been doing for the last four years, uh, over four years now. I normally clean up in the van um, using my sink and utilizing what I have here in my van. Um, I just want to touch on a couple little things. I know that I teased that I have a few ways of showering. Um, one of those you might know since uh, I've given some little Easter eggs as to that over the last few videos. Uh, I'll get to that video. Um, one of the things I really don't like to do is I don't like like unboxing videos and quick uh, videos about new products. I I don't find them to be useful. What I do like are kind of long-term tests and long-term use videos. So uh, I will get to that video about what I'm using to actually physically shower if I need to take a shower. Uh, but really, most of the time, I'm 
cleaning up here in the van. Now, as for the people that have brought up truck stop showers, uh, I have been using a truck stop shower on occasion. One of the things about truck stop showers is they're great. They're great if you can if you can use them, but uh, each individual store sets the rules of who gets to use the shower. And what I was told the last time I went in to the one that I've been going into several times over the last few months is that I now need to show a commercial driver's license in order to buy a shower. Uh, that is maybe a new rule or maybe I just got unlucky by the person that was uh, manning the register at that time. I don't know what it is, but um, anyway, that's the one thing to keep in mind with truck stop showers. They're great if you can use them, but on occasion, uh, depending on the store and the location, you will need to show a commercial driver's license uh, to use it. I don't have a commercial driver's license, so I may not be able to use that location anymore. Now, those of you that made comments that I should keep my gym membership, there is one thing to remember, and that is that I am in Washington State near Seattle, and we are basically re-entering lockdown right now. So uh, my old gym is still open. I believe they're still open. Uh, you can go in and work out, but the showers are closed. They're not available for use. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's not money that I really want to be spending. Well, that should about cover it. Hopefully I've answered all the questions and covered all the comments. I do apologize about cutting out some of the information that probably should have been included in the first video. Hopefully um, we're all up to speed now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.